Hi, Doug Yeomans here in the studios in Orchard Park, New York. You know, for a lot of beginning guitarists, it's kind of intimidating to get in front of a teacher. Uh, a lot of times, we're feeling pretty inadequate you know, when we see somebody just running their fingers across the fretboard. But uh, nothing really to be intimidated about. It, uh, you know, we all just learn one little bit at a time, and then just it accumulates. It's a good thing to to get with a teacher all the time and uh, you know, on a steady basis and have them show you stuff. You know, what I might start out somebody with uh, is just to show them the names of the strings like E, A, or E, e B, G, D, A, and E. You know, it's a, a way to start kind of understanding what's going on. And you know, just take your strings and just play like that. And if you're going to be a plectrum or pick style guitar player, then I often tell people just go through the strings with a short pick stroke. Get used to the feel of doing it, you know. Try to make your pick stroke come from your elbow. Works real good to do that. So if you can pick that second string, so this is string number one down to string number six. If you can pick that second string without hitting the first string, it's a really good start. Then of course the next thing is we start talking about, those are open strings, then we start talking about the left hand. We've got four fingers, one, two, three, and four, of course, and thumb goes in the back of the neck, and then we start fretting the notes. And all you got to do to fret the notes is place that finger right behind the fret that you want. So that would be the first finger behind the first fret. Then the second finger would go behind the second fret, and the third, and the fourth. And you could do that on every string, and it's a nice exercise to do. And if you do it a couple times, what I suggest people to do is to try to keep the fingers down until you're done with all four of them. And that can really make a big difference. And what it does is, let me show you where my thumb is. It makes your thumb kind of go like this, which is a really good thing because you've got a lot of reach then. And your hand can really spread out. See how far I can stre stretch my first and fourth fingers. And that's what you really want. And we try to kind of make a little dance, you know, our, our fingers are just going to do a little prancing again across the fretboard. So just a little exercise like this could be a great place for somebody to start. Now let me show you one more thing to do with that. <coughs> we did that at what's called first position, and our first finger is going to tell us where the first position is because it'll be at the first fret. But now if I want to keep going up the fretboard, I play at different positions. And that's something you ought to know is you're always at a position. So here's, here's position number five. I'd be at the fifth fret, one, two, three, four, and five. And on just about all guitars, you'll see a dot at that fifth fret. So if I tried to do that same thing up here, first thing we're going to notice is it feels a lot different because you're not stretching your arm way down to here. So I would take that first four finger exercise and I would just try it at the fifth position and then I might go up to the ninth or the tenth and again all you have to do is think about you know the, the uh, frets and how many frets what the way I do it is I count by three or by uh, in uh, odd numbers because it's three five seven and then nine that's where your first four dots are and that's universal on all guitars so if I went up to the ninth fret and did the same thing I'm at ninth position and First thing I notice there is, it's really different to do it up there than it is down there. So there's a little four finger exercise that we can all kind of get in real quickly and uh, start getting our hands in shape. Thanks a lot. See you next time.